3D printing. Fast, limitless potential. The ability to create anything you can think of and it's sitting right there on your desktop. This is a technology that will truly revolutionize humanity. Every once in a while, we need to use this incredible technology to make a piece of crap. And this is one of those days. Hello, and welcome back to another episode of One Day Print. Today, I thought we could print the most random thingy I could find on Thingiverse that might actually be useful. This little guy, snails. The note holder for people who are slow to get things done. Yes, this is very much me. I used to write all of my to-do lists on scraps of paper and old envelopes, and of course I would lose them, and I would have to make to-do lists to remind myself to make the to-do lists. Let's see if this helps. Let's jump into Cura. We have our snails STL. We'll just drag that onto the build plate. Why don't we duplicate it? Two of them on the build plate. This is probably not the best practice, but I have not had much of a problem. Um, I'm just gonna use the stock settings the one thing I do like to do is change the initial layer height. I'll bring that up to 0.3. I find that if you bring that up just a little bit, it gives a better bed adhesion. Infill, we can bring that down to 5%. Prints are usually quite strong, even if they don't have much of an infill, especially if it has a 1.2 millimeter wall, it'll be fine. Material, I find that the filament that I use works best at around 190, 195. I bring up the printing temperature of the initial layer quite a bit. I also like to bring up the build plate temperature for the initial layer. I find that that helps adhesion. Print speed, I'll bring that up a little bit. I find that if I go above 60 millimeters per second, I get a lot of under extrusion, but that could also just be my machine or my settings. I'm new to this too. This is very important, the support Z distance. This is essentially how far the top of your support is from the bottom of your actual print. So if I'm printing at a 0.2 millimeter layer height, that means that that gap, that airspace, has to be 0.2 millimeters. If it's less, you will actually get it fusing directly. Build plate adhesion. Since the bottom of these snails is quite thin, I'm gonna go with a brim, just to be certain. We'll go with three millimeter, and then the rest is fine. That's it, slice. Two hours, 26 minutes. That's a little bit long. I'm going to increase the speed just a tiny bit. We've gotten it down to one hour 30, which I think is a lot better. I did end up raising the layer height to 0.3 millimeters, which is technically a draft layer height, but I don't think that for a print like this, it really matters that much, at least not for me. If you were concerned about the quality, then of course 0.2 or 0.15 millimeter layer heights would be a significant improvement if that's what you're concerned with. Let's go to the time lapse. So then, here we go. We just have to take off this stuff around the edge. Oh. That's fun. Look at that. Look at how cute they are. I think they're cute. I can't actually decide if they're cute or not. They look a little bit crazy. They look like out of the never ending story. There's that guy who rides a snail and he's like, Cool, he's a nice guy, but he has this creepy snail which is there going, Aah. Don't worry, it's a racing snail. Oh, it really is a racing snail. Yeah. So, we have a piece of paper, we have a snail. Uh, pineapple, apple pen. Ah, hey, it worked. That actually. Nice. Well, it didn't stay, but for a second there it worked. If you keep it, if you keep it stable. Hey, that's not bad. Let me get some more paper. Oh, it works better if it's folded. So if you have your paper and you stick it in as a one single sheet, it's a little bit loose. If you fold it over at the bottom, it holds a lot better. So that might be, that might be the idea. There you go, like that. Yeah, definitely. Definitely have to fold over the edge. Dot, dot, dot. And there we have it. 
They're probably the simplest thing I could possibly imagine for this, but they, they still actually look really cool. And I can imagine somebody coming in and seeing this and thinking, oh wow, that's really, that's cute. Where did you get that? Like, oh, I made it myself. So they're useful and a bit of a conversation starter if somebody else sees them who doesn't know about 3D printing. That's it for today. Please like and subscribe if you want to see bigger and better projects. It will really help me out. And comment below if you find these snail note holders cute and useful or not so cute and useful. It's a racing snail! Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.